you know, obviously triple AD ban against, against Viper. I mean, that's clearly does that even do anything? Isn't he just gonna first pick Jinx here? Oh wow, he's not. Okay, so I assume that they have an answer they want to do into Jinx. Okay, I guess you can't give. So you can't give Angel TF. So they ban out three AD carries, take an AD carry first into the TF. So what is Viper gonna play? I mean, he could always just play Ezreal. I'm down for an Ezreal Karma. Ezreal Karma from Viper and Mako. This is one of the lanes that they played really well in summer at the beginning of summer last year. I mean, if I had to guess, I would just think it's going to be like Poppy or Volibear jungle for JJ and Graves top. I mean, I think Volibear Graves would be what they would normally play here. Dude, what did I tell you, baby? Let's go. It was the script. EDG wins 2-0. That's the script. Doesn't doesn't mean anything, I don't think. Wait, really? Wow, that's just a kill. Wow, that's literally just a kill? Damn, I mean, I guess it's because they have no heal. Yeah, and also uh, Flandre's just dead. Uh, Flandre might be in a bit of trouble waiting for the Sonic Wave here. The flash forward from Scout has been flying his time. Oh flash my god, Flandre triple. griefed the and entire the game. Scout's dead three. too. Oh Flandre my god, Flandre, why are you even fighting this, man? You had the wave push. Flandre, stop it. Lyric, Angel for the goal. Oh, he's dead here. Thank you. Scout now hit down SFM continuing the dive. Oh, SFM, that's ugly, bro. That's really ugly. What, we're not kick queuing? Nah, nah, SFM, bro. Your your leeson's gotta be clean like that, bro. That's like my leeson. Alright, SFM, there's no way you f up this one. Sonic Wave, everything is Jedges behind him. They need to kill Flandre, but a half HP flashes away. I mean, how does how does SOFM hit this Q? So SOFM and he misses the last one. Wasn't this one so much harder? Like he kicked Q'd, but like the guy flashed, he was like in the other direction. This one was so much harder than the last one. Who's winning? I mean, I would personally rather have right side comp if this was the game circumstance. If you're like directly even, uh, like TF hasn't got an ult off that has done anything. Like I'm taking right side at this point. But I mean, EDG is a, a better team than Weibo. So like in this game specifically, do I think that Weibo is gonna ha like have a higher chance of winning than EDG? Probably not. I think EDG will still probably find a way to win. I'm not a huge fan of Shrelia's though. I mean, I guess you could do it to like match the Karma speed up. The past six months, but they are being tested once again. It will really come down. This guy's just dead. And they get bot turret. Oh, never mind. He's not dead. Scout didn't know. It wasn't looking at his champion. He was looking for the port. They're ulting behind. Okay, I think that EDG can actually win this though. I think this is winnable for EDG. Like, there's not any follow up there. Yeah, Viper can kill them all here. Bro, this is why I like Viper. He loves his jungler. His jungler was in there. He knew that there was like an ignite that was gonna come on. So he said, you know what, bro? I'll just heal you early. It's all good. I'm just gonna heal you. You're my boy. You're my teammate. I will heal you early. This is what I think EDG can okay, they get second Drake. Viper's dead. Being taken by EDG and Viper Gaming coming to explode them. They want more kills. They need to work from the shy versus three people. Oh no, Mako's dead too. Oh, it's just top cap. SFM is so big. I mean, the thing that the problem is that Leeson has all the kills here. Like Leeson with all the kills doesn't really do that much. Mako, nothing yet picked up. We're on. Oh, just picked up. Viper. Okay, well, in enemy jungle, Mako's deep. Sonic Wave is connected. And on to one who picks it up with an ignite. EDG have gone way too deep with a realm mob and three people. I mean, uh, Viper's dead here as well. I mean, this is this is really good for Weibo. Weibo, this is like a game-winning fight for Weibo. Never mind for Weibo Gaming. They'll clean up the rest into harm's way. Sonic Wave, the kick. You're not getting out that easy. S that is like almost game over right here. This is almost game over. It's going for the invade when their graves without TP is is versus the rise in the sideline. Buying it to deal with the graves rather than go with. You know, uh, something that would be a little bit more useful in terms of team fighting and skirmish later on, but TPs are coming out. Well, Angel's taking a realm. Where is he going, though? Into the middle of enemy lines. Uh, Vipers is dead. GG. This game's over. The There's no way you win this anymore. Dude, if Weibo beats EDG, it would be actually be pretty hype. Death. I mean, EDG hasn't been playing they like. The core the I mean, they're 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 definitely still good, but they've been having like weird games. They don't look like they're refined yet. I don't even think you need to do anything with comp here. Like, I don't even think the comp was bad at all. It's literally just what Flandre did early game made the game unplayable for. He ruined top and mid and jungle all with one play. I think I think Karthus is is low key busted right now. 
they go. brush it off. Ooh. And that is going to be the play pattern for them as they try But a lot of stuff is conditional, so like it's hard to say like overall top five. Then there's like Diana with Yasuo, which is really good, but without Yasuo, Diana is like not really that good. I mean, Viper literally just needs a QSS at this point. They're just. Yeah. Let's go root him into hook every single time. Yeah, game's over, though. This one's doomed. And, dude, the Shy played played fine. I mean, he didn't have to do too much this game. I think Angel played played really well this game. I think SOFM played, like, okay. I mean, he, he had a really grief moment that I think a lot of the time will hurt you, hurt you way more than here. If the enemy team is playing well and not making many mistakes and you do something like what SOFM did, you just waste your kick flash and for no reason, like you'll end up so far behind in tempo, but nothing ended up happening this one. So I guess he looks good. All right, we got Jinx first pick this time for Huan Fung. And once again, you have Ezreal for Viper. So they decided that Ezreal was not the issue this time. A little bit of like a pseudo poke comp here. Rives was banned this time from Weibo. Okay, interesting. I mean, Scout also does play a really good res. So Ezreal, Karma, again, into Thresh Jinx. But, I mean, they won the lane, so it makes sense. Now the question is, what do they do with jungle? Okay, Lee Sin for JJ. Ooh, Hecarim. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about this comp. I'm not sure if I'd like Gwen Ori Hecarim topside. That seems a little sketch to me. Very heavy magic damage dealing topside. And the Renekton last pick into the, the Gwen. I'm not sure if I like that either, to be honest. But maybe Flandre just gets put on Renekton du duty because he's uh he ran it down last game. And this is your punishment. Damn, both junglers are just in lane up here. Yeah, I... I Expected this to happen right with the heavy trading coming out in the early Sonic levels. Wave got him and he's yeah, down. They kill him. Mako has the same deal as this top side dive. We switched the camera. Uh, he just hit level six. I think that this dive is actually kind of scary. I don't like this dive at all. As soon as he hits level six, but okay, let's see. Who just picked up the level six now? So them with the counter gank and Flandre. Yeah, this is really grief. They tried to full HP dive a Gwen that has ult and conquer with all that healing. I mean, I think that the reasoning might actually be that the lane went. Oh my God! On just flat. Flashed? Wait, that, that was his real flash, wasn't it? Yeah, that's his real flash, by the way. That's his real flash. Yeah, on, on how is on not benched, bro? How is on not like on must have some dirt on somebody at Weibo? How is this guy not benched for Sword Art? He literally was trying to hex flash in place. You saw Sword Art last year, yeah. But I mean, Sword Art Sword Art wasn't that bad last year. He was just bad compared to what people expected. He was bad compared to his like salary. I mean, if you're getting paid six million dollars for two years, you're expected to one v nine. Like, so for example, right? What you would expect him to do is you want him to be the best player in NA by far. That's the standard he has to be held to based on his uh based on his salary. GG. GG top. Actually, crazy amounts of LP. Too bad I literally can't check OP.GG here. Mago's dead. But I think it's like harder for you to die too if you're if you're top. Maybe not. Ooh, clean, clean, JJ. I like that. Scout joins in as Angel flashes away. The grand escape from the Oriana. Oh, the he lives. Oh, JJ. Angel. Sorry, trying to find an angle to get a kick on. Can on you get to coast stream LCS week four? So one more week of live view and then coast stream week four. Angel picks up the kill. Wave again. Yeah. So deep here though in EDG. They want to come back and That's the plan. Even harder. Shockwave though brings JJ in and Angel. JJ is fine. They get the TP. Mako has flash. He has to flash here. Wait, why did he cleanse? He cleansed the slow from like chilling smite. Oh my God, the Renekton is popping off. Oh, JJ dead. Oh, you can't get hit like that. Oh no. Oh, they're just going for it, bro. Oh, he missed it. Oh, SFM missed the old point blank. Oh, no, he griefed it. Oh, no. You hate to see it, man. Flying through the skies. The top laner from IG assimilating and making this team his own. Weibo picking up two kills. Oh, oh no. Wait. JJ can't dodge Flandre hooks or uh, 
unhooked, and Flandre is just running it. Okay, but this is this is the fight that matters. This is Soul. This is the fight that matters for everyone. And Angel's already really low. Angel got chu uh, got uh, chunked. This is actually pretty big for EDG. I mean, if EDG gets this, they probably just win the game. Hextech Soul looks really, really good for them, too. is a Hextech Dragon. EDG is through there. Package lines the river. The shy waiting to go past, and he does. There's SOFM in his back pit, nice and early. And they can just try to kick out SOFM. They want to kill the jungler of EDGs. The shy goes in. Once oh. again, onslaught of shadows. Never mind, Gorgeous. they're just dead. And now the boat comes through. <laughs> so Wave by gaming, blowing them up. The shy with the shock wave. It's actually Angel, excuse me. They miss it. They deny it. But EDG are sent flying. Damn. In the end, kind of getting get ran run, down. But they stop the play. Next and Lee going full armor. Yeah, yeah that's uh, a little Angel bit tough. And the shy are doing it by themselves. And Quen has true damage. Yeah, I mean, Ford. Wait, I guess they just give it here. And are they really going to get 2 0'd? Is EDG really going to get 2 0'd by Weibo here? Kind of crazy. Looking for an angle to end this series in a 2 0. They might just stop there, though, with pressure from the Shy in the top lane. And the Baron Buff continuing Ooh. to do work. Wow, that rocket from Scout, though, hit big, forcing them off. He's staying for it. The now the Flandre with a needlework in front of the whole team. The Shy wants one more. The whole team coming to support him, though. Oh, Holy sh. Sh the sort of shadows. He All right, that was the cleanse on the fear. EDG running for the hills. Yeah, Wave Gwen is fing broken, boys. None of the counter picks work, dude. Graves doesn't work. Renekton doesn't work. I, I, think I never see anything work into it. It literally just 1v9s every single game. Yeah, GG. Holy sh. Wavo actually beat EDG in a fast 2 0. That's a hard 2 0 from, from uh, Wavo. Holy f. Crazy.